Hello friends, I'm Jeff here and welcome to Quick Tip Tuesday number 10. Today we're going to talk a little bit more adding decals to your armor piece. Now after, done, after you're done painting your model, it is time for decaling. Now although adding decals is the same principle in armor as well as in aircraft, there are a few differences. With aircraft, in almost 90% of the cases, there is a lot more transfers to be added than on armor. However, adding markings to an armor piece can be a little bit more tricky depending on how far you're going to take your, um, your weathering. Um, it might be more advantageous to actually airbrush or paint your markings. Several times, let me show you this real quick, several times uh, after weathering and depending on the decal's quality, I found out that sometimes the decals show either the outline uh, of the decal, that if, if, it's, if you hold it to the light, you can see it's a little raised that the decals show a little bit of, a, of an outline or if you don't cut the decals uh, close enough to the actual marking the film starts silvering and uh, that, by that by itself is a problem and the same of course can, you can experience with aircraft even worse since there is so many more so when adding uh, weathering techniques uh, with different kind of media you run the risk of heaping or collecting uh, paint particles or pigment particles around your decal and actually not really a big deal but if you're a stickler for finish like me that ain't gonna work so uh, it it is a little bit more work but you know what if you put a little bit more effort into the equation uh, and if if it's uh, actually possible it's better to airbrush your markings on or directly uh, on to your uh, armor vehicle than using decals itself like we did here with the Sherman uh, and honestly I use template for, uh, templates for this and I must tell you uh, again it was a little bit more uh, work and effort but the result is absolute, absolutely worth it. Now I found a couple of templates from Voyager models uh, they're older uh, I don't know if they're still around but I'm sure you can find them or somebody that makes something similar and uh, uh, these would suit the purpose uh, absolutely fine because a couple of them were absolutely the right size or the correct size uh, for uh, the decals that I was going to use on the Sherman. So let me show you real quick how I did this and then we'll be back for some final words.
there you have it folks uh, I'm quite pleased with the result I'm glad I did it yes it's a lot of work it's tedious it's time-consuming you have to have a lot of patience but the result is absolutely worth it I mean uh, I just need to weather the tank still but uh, uh, it's it's it looks so realistic uh, so much more than decal so that was it for now I uh, hope you guys liked it uh, please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to like us and share us on fo Facebook and of course visit us uh, on our website at uh, www.jeffycornerstore.com for any updates and please also of course subscribe but for now I wish you all a pleasant rest of the week and um, I'll see you guys next time at quick tip Tuesday number 11 Jeffy here signing off